Hello, and welcome to my redstone test world. Here I try and explore what is possible with redstone, as well as create some cool devices of my own. Today I thought I'd give a quick demo of my 4-bit 12-function ALU. So let's jump right into that. Here we are now, and you can get a bit of a better view of the functions. We have add, subtract, XOR, XNOR, AND, NAND, OR, NOR, as well as return A, return B, and NOT A, NOT B. Now these four functions here relate to this top display, and the rest relate to this bottom one. Let's just start by returning a couple values. I'll plug in some random numbers for the A and the B inputs. And as you can see, nothing is shown, but once I flip return, we'll see the A values are shown, and if I hit return B, the B values will be shown. Now I can choose to invert or not these by flipping not A and not B, and that's going to do exactly what it says. That's that. Let's move on to something a bit cooler. Here we are at the base of the ALU. Let's try and add a few numbers. Start out with something simple, 1 and 1. You'll see we currently have nothing on the screen. But if I flip add, we'll see that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And that little effect there is just a little loading screen I've put in to show you when your value is done processing. Silly, sort of useless, but I still enjoy it. Let's try another operation. Subtract. Now this is an interesting one. For this, you must follow a precise syntax, and that is a minus b equals c. So let's put that in. Let's do 2 minus 1, and we could check those values on our little screen up here. Let's do 2 minus 1, and let's hit subtract. Now after the loading screen, you can see that 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Now that's pretty cool, isn't it? I think so. Alrighty, let's move on. Next up we have XOR, so let's choose a few values. 1 and no other one, XOR is going to give us 1. And that's because we have 1 exclusively. Now if I flip this other one, you'll see that 1 and 1, XOR does not give you 1. I can flip multiple levers here, like if I flip 8, You'll see that 8 XOR with no other 8 will give us a positive value here. But if I flip 8 here, we'll again return to 0. Now XNOR is basically the inverse of that, so I'm not going to bother wasting your time with those. But let's keep moving on. And here we can see that 1 and 1 is going to give us 1, as well as 8 and 8 will give us another one. Had I flipped four, but not the other four, you'll see that we don't return a value. NAND will simply be the inverse of this. Next up we have OR, and this will check if one, or the other, or both values are flipped. So you can see that we flipped one, four, and 8, and on this side we flipped 1 and 8, but returned is both 1, 4, and 8. And that's because that's how an OR gate works. NOR will again be the inverse of that. That about concludes it for the functions of this ALU. I focused a lot on understandability as opposed to speed, because I really wanted to really get these concepts and get the concepts of an ALU. I find this that if I know what is going on internally, I'll be able to create more complex and faster devices. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see any more, feel free to send me a message. Thanks for watching.